Good morning, Krusty Crew. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, naked boy. He is happy because he's watching Encanto or listening to it, maybe, is more accurate. But we have a big day ahead of us today because Zen has outgrown his newborn stuff for the most part. So now we're in like three to six, or zero, zero to three, or, I don't know. You know how that goes. He needs bigger clothes, mainly footies. So we're gonna go to a few places. Um, there's like a local place right down the road that we're gonna hit and then I think we're gonna hit South Coast Plaza and Hopefully we get lucky. The goal is to find budget stuff that isn't hideously ugly. Can we do it? I hope so. I think Zen's getting a cute outfit on. Let's see Whoa We have mr. Polo boy in the house What? that excite you, buddy? Yeah, you're looking cool and stylish. Say hi. I'm eating some breakfast real quick. We are eating some breakfast. If you guys are looking for some cereal, it took me a second to like it, but honestly I look forward to it and kind of want it every morning. But it's the Kashi Dark Cocoa. It's the keto friendly one. 19 grams of carbs, 12 grams of protein. Pretty balanced. Yeah, pretty balanced, six grams of fat. And then paired with our Odalie, it's really, really good. And, you know, it makes me feel kind of good about having a bowl of cereal. It's not all sugar, which I love, don't get me wrong. But I feel pretty good about our Odalie decision and not having regular milk. You know, I love regular milk too, especially with Oreos, dunk them in. Mm -hmm. I love a glass of milk, like with cake, or brownies, or cookies. We're still doing good with the uh, dairy-free. Mm -hmm. But Cody's gonna ruin it today. Tell him. I really want Starbucks and, sorry, I mean with my, talking about my mouthful. I could get my drink, which is a vanilla sweet cream cold brew with, well, I could like get a cold brew, I could get pumps of vanilla and oat milk, but I just don't want that. I want my cup of, my cup of joe. And also, we mentioned to our doctor that we were trying to go dairy-free, the pediatrician, Zen's doctor, I should say. And she said it's not worth it. Um, no, no, no. I mean, she said, is, she said, is he showing obvious signs of being, of having a problem with me eating dairy? And he's not. He just gets crabby at the same time every night. Like, no, no, no puking. Yeah, no crazy, puking. She so. was like... But she, I, it could contribute to gas. We don't know. Well, yeah, we try to always do gas exercises and stuff, and um, so she just said like it's not worth it unless he's showing obvious signs, which right now he's showing signs signs of being colic, being crabby at the same time every single night. When he's fed, changed, we change his clothes, like literally we do everything, and he just nothing makes him happy except for going to sleep, which is yeah. hard to get him to go to sleep. Yeah. To go back to the topic of Zen's clothes and shopping, anyone who has a baby and has done research on baby stuff has heard of kite baby clothes. They're expensive, they're made of bamboo, but the reason I think Zen likes them is because they're kind of like compression-y, but stretchy and soft at the same time and breathable. That's the bamboo in it. But I'm saying it's expensive, but kind of worth it. Do you agree? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I got a yeah. Apparently Macy sells it. Apparently this place down the road in Newport sells it. Apparently. Apparently we'll see. Okay, bye. What's up, gang? <laughs> Going through Zen's first car wash. He's kind of mad. Cody. Oh, is he liking it? He's thoroughly pissed. We haven't really gone out like all week in the car seat. I think he's not really liking it. You gotta get out sometime in the car, you know? We're doing it. While we're in here, I got my cold brew. This is a new one for me. Cold brew with three pumps of vanilla and extra oat milk. Let's do a taste test before we're out of here. That's actually really good. It just doesn't have that cold foam, which is like super sweet. I would recommend. Stop it. 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 Stop it.
stop here on red, stop here on red, stop here on red, stop here on red. That's a red light. Did you get that on video? No. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I am recording. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> I, I don't know how good of a view angle that was of me, but Eric almost <laughs> ran a red light. It's a weird one, okay? Anyways, yeah. I started this to say that then cried himself to sleep. I think Eric said that he was mad. I he's just one of the babies that doesn't like his car seat. He just cries and I think it's gotta be our fault. Go ahead and elaborate. Eric thinks we spoiled our newborn. I don't think it's possible to spoil the newborn. So Eric thinks he's just not used to his car seat. So he screamed himself to sleep. I um I just died inside watching that. It's really hard to watch your baby scream in their car seat and you can't do anything about it. But my commute to work when I go back to work is 45 minutes. So if he doesn't like his car seat by then, I'm gonna have a hard time driving to work. So my, I just can't go. <laughs> we're both quitting our jobs is what we're saying. Right here, right now. I think I saw a comment on TikTok the other day that said in Canada, maternity leave is 18 months. Whoa. I think I read, I saw. I'm pretty sure every country is better than ours. I'm not yeah. pretty sure I um, know that. No, no, yeah. Anyways, we arrived to our first destination. Let me show you. In case you are watching from Orange County, Southern California, we are going to this little place that I looked up that sells the kite stuff. I'm gonna show you right now. Little Baby Sprouts. We probably definitely 100% are not gonna film inside there because it's like a small little boutique if I'm seeing it right. We'll let you know how it goes right now. Okay, we're back in the car. We're on the way to our next destination. I'm gonna talk about what we got real quick. We did the opposite of affordable, but <laughs> uh, but I'm glad we found this place because, I mean, nothing is on sale. It's not a secondhand store. They have all the like name brand stuff that's just there. They it's have like, like Instagram names that like, you wouldn't really find this stuff at even like, I mean, maybe Nordstrom, but nowhere else. Yeah, or it's like got like, online. I'll show you what we got. So Zen right now, I've talked about the weighted sleep sack, the sleep slack, <laughs> the dreamland baby sleep sack that he's sleeping in, jeez. And we wanna put him in a footy pajama underneath. So, and he's outgrown his newborn one. So we got a, just a staple like kite one. He grew out of his newborn one and we just really like it. It's super soft so we got this color three to six months just a classic like light gray and then this is the other brand that I um, I haven't really seen and I'm not really, really sure how to pronounce it Coakley that's the brand another footie it's just a zipper footie just like the kite one we got this tan color super soft just like the the kite one I'm not sure if this one's also made out of bamboo but this one was $32.99 so you know, pricey, just like the kite one. Kite one's $33.99. So yeah, that store just had every like accessory for up a baby, like for our stroller, like just freaking everything you could imagine. And just, they had such like, just really cool stuff there that you don't, you don't see just like at Target or, you know, Bye Bye Baby or stuff, stuff like that. So anyways, we're on to our next destination at South Coast. Still enjoying my coffee. Are you enjoying your coffee? Yeah, but it's going right through me and I've already peed once and I already have to pee again. So, in case you were wondering how many times I've peed today, I know you were. Well, I became an abuela madrigal. He's got the hiccups. His hair is growing back. It fell off on top and now it's growing back. Alright guys, so we are gonna crash. We are at South Coast Plaza, walking by the Louis store. We have a spoiled little boy right here. Doesn't wanna, doesn't wanna sit in our stroller. But we checked out Macy's and struck out hard. And we're on our way to Nordstrom. Struggle finding some good baby stuff. We're on our way back to the car. We have a sleepy boy. He's sleeping on dad right now, not in his stroller. We're just pushing the stroller fun for funsies. We Struck out here at South Coast Plaza. We didn't find anything. We went to Macy's, we went to H&M, Nordstrom. Struck out. We're getting hungry though. I did bring a Belvita we snacked on. Yeah. We might have to stop and get something. He's, He's pretty... about to be pissed when I put him in his car seat. Yeah. But we might change him and feed him. What do you think? We might. I might. I might, might let him. Might let him eat? Yeah, I might let him eat. <laughs> 
stopped and got some lunch. Eric ran in and got us something. I think we talked about we're not totally going to be dairy free. We're just mainly we're going to be dairy free at home. It's kind of impossible when you go out. I know there's dairy free options for sure. And what I just got for lunch definitely could have been avoided like a little better than what, what I got. But um, we got Chipotle. I get a quesadilla at Chipotle. I'm hyped on Chipotle. <laughs> Wow, drool monster. Yeah, he is a drool, drool monster. Two, at two months, everybody. Remember that baby starts drooling. So this guy is ready for a hefty nap. Wait, fun story. You probably can't see, but there's a poo-poo poo -poo speckle. Hold on, buddy. I'm trying to tell a story. Hey, hold on. Just give me one second. One sec. You don't get that, Dad. Anyways, there's a poop speckle on his back. And Cody didn't see it. I don't even I, it know must, how it got It there. must have happened when you were changing him. And we got it on the top of his stroller, like the little the little cover. We got it on the part where he sits. It's obviously on his shirt. Actually, I think I smell poop right now. There's just poop everywhere. Let me see. We're gonna try to put him down for a nap right now. Hopefully in his swing and not in our arms so that we can both eat. Before the sun goes down, we're gonna try to get him on a little walk. But right now it's 351, still have sunlight. To work with. Let me show you uh, another look at the outfits we got him. I don't know how good Cody could show him in the car, but this is the one from Kite Baby. It's kind of like a very light gray. This is like super stretchy, like elastic, but like soft. The other brand, Piccoli. This one, it's not as soft, but it feels like a little more like durable. But I honestly like the little details on this better than the kite. I just feel like the details are nice. The zipper's off center. It looks cool. That's really all we found. It's hard to find basics for babies. Okay, we're gonna eat now. Hi guys. So if you've never tried a quesadilla from Chipotle, you're missing out. It's freaking good. Look at this. No, seriously. I don't know if you know, but Chipotle literally has the best cheese. Speaking of dairy free, they have the best cheese and literally the best sour cream. If you're not a sour cream fan, get sour cream from Chipotle. Oh. And you will be a sour cream fan. Wait, what? I forgot to tell you. I was in there ordering mm -hmm. and they have a new chicken and I got it on mine and not yours. Cause what I was, is it? It's pollo asado. So. Review coming now. Wait, what is that? I don't know. It was cooked with like peppers, cilantro, and lime. Hmm. So That's we'll see. Cool. Yeah, and we also got chips and queso. So we're doing real healthy and real cheesy. Wait, speaking of sour cream though, I did get a dairy free sour cream. It's the 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 kite hill. Yeah. I think kite hill. And it's like almond based, so Eric can have it, but it's really freaking good if you're looking for a, a dairy free sour cream burrito and new chicken taste test right here hold up okay, here's what i got i got the um a burrito with brown rice the new pollo asado chicken no beans i got half mild half corn salsa cheese and lettuce that's literally it and this thing is massive ready that bite had no chicken not spicy like I was hoping. I feel like it just tastes like chicken with lime and cilantro, like it is. But I kind of wish there was some spice. Cody's rocking zen, and then we're gonna try again to put him in his swing. I'm probably gonna stop eating now so I can help her. Hello! Hey! We decided to partake in our evening walk. It is, I don't have watch. <laughs> 704. Still got some daylight left. It's zen is approaching his crabby hour. He's actually been pretty crabby all day since we've been out. He has not had any good naps in today, so. Yeah, uh, we gotta go out more to get him. get him into these. Get used to him, get him used to napping in a car seat. I don't know, we definitely have a long night ahead of us. And then tomorrow we're gonna go to my mom's house and hang yep. out. I think we're gonna end the vlog here because it's gonna be cray cray in the uh, coin house tonight. So. But guys, before we end the vlog, I just wanna say that I appreciate each and every one of you so much watching, liking, subscribing. I am putting it out into the universe with you, wife, that one day we can be content creators. We're just gonna keep going and it's gonna just take us to new heights. And we're gonna look back at this ending and cry. Tears of joy. But anyways, I appreciate you all. Love you. Have a good night. And see you in the next video, guys. Bye.